or if you're gonna find it in the cartesian plane. So if you really hear the word Alcisa year, year ago or in your junior high school and in your senior high school, high school then it's, I'm glad to say that congratulations. So if ever that it is not, so please pay attention in my video. So if you encounter the word Alcisa, what is abscissa? Or where we can find the word abscissa? Or what is the function of abscissa? What is the uh, what's the importance of abscissa? Do you call it abscissa? So what is abscissa? Abscissa, the basic term of it is the x, uh, x axis of the partition plane. So you can find abscissa in the first element of the ordered pair. For example, we have the ordered pair just like this. So, we have the first negative 2 and 4. So, our axis here is negative 2. So, to find abscissa, or for when you can really understand what is abscissa, just put it in your mind that abscissa is the first element of the ordered pair, which is the What is ordinate? So today I'm gonna tell you what is the meaning of ordinate. So in a basic uh, basic information or the basic number that I give you on what is ordinate, ordinate is the y-axis in the Cartesian plane. So earlier in my video I told that abscissa is the x-axis of the coordinate plane. So the ordinate the word ordinate is the y-axis in the Cartesian plane. So, if we have this as a Cartesian plane, this line here is our y-axis. Then, this line here is our x-axis. So, the ordinate here is this one. Okay? This one. This long line crossing that one. This is the ordinate. This is the y-axis is uh, what we call ordinate, okay? So, the difference of abscissa and the ordinate is that abscissa is our x and our y is our ordinate. So, not x, but your x half, x in the Cartesian plane. So, this is the example of the Cartesian plane, this one. Here we just quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So today, this is our Cartesian plane. So we have the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Then I indicate the two sign, which is the positive, then a negative sign. So today, I'm gonna show you where is the abscissa and the ordinate of this Cartesian plane. So I said earlier that the abscissa is the x-axis, this is the x-axis, the x-axis of the Cartesian plane. So, at the first quadrant, our axis here is this one. Positive. So, the axis of quadrant one is positive. Then, the next is the ordinate also positive because in quadrant 1 all the numbers contained in the quadrant 1 belong to the positive side. Then let's proceed to the quadrant 2. So here at the quadrant 2, did you notice that there are two sides which is the negative and the positive side. So our x-axis here, so this is our x-axis 1, 2, 3. This number is negative 1 negative 2, and negative 3. So, our abscissa here is negative. So, this one is 1, 2, 3. It's all positive. So, our ordinate is positive. Next, and here in the quadrant 3, there are also two sides, which is both negative. So, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So, our abscissa, or the x here is negative and our y-axis is also negative so 
Did you notice that here in the quadrant tree, all our elements are containing a negative symbols? So, let's proceed to the quadrant 4. These are also have two sides, which is negative and positive. So, let's locate our abscissa. Our abscissa here is positive. So, this is our x-axis. So, 1, 2, 3. They are all positive. Then, our y-axis is negative. Negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. So, our y-axis or the ordinate axis is negative. Our first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. So, today I'm going to show you the example of ordinate and the abscissa with using the elements. So, our first element, our uh, ordered paired elements is 3 and 5. Uh, did you notice that 3 and 5 is all positive? So, and if I said earlier that... All in quadrant 1 are all positive. So, it is located, 3 and 5 are located in the quadrant 1. So, let's put it there. So, 3 and 5. So, our x-axis or the obscissa here is 3. So, 1, 2, 3, and the ordinate is 5. So, I said earlier that our first element, right, is the obscissa. So then the second are the ordinate. So let's put it like 1, 2, 3. Then for the y-axis is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or it's all 5. So there. So our first ordered pair are 3 and Five. So, in that ordered pair, our abscissa is 3. Then, our ordinate is 5. So, next, the number negative 2 and positive 4. So, did you notice that one of the elements containing the ordered pair is negative? So, which quadrant are you going to put it? So I said earlier that the quadrant 2 contains negative and positive sign. So also have the quadrant 4. It also contains positive and negative. But then our abscissa here or the x-axis is negative. And the second or the ordinate is positive. So it is located at quadrant 2. So this is the quadrant 2. So this is our y-axis and this is our x-axis. So, let's put it there. Another count. 1, negative 1. This is negative 1. Then, negative 2. So, put it here for 1, 2. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is our center. So, this is our second ordered pair. The negative 2 and 4. Which is located at the quadrant 2. So, Next example is negative 6 and negative 3. So, all this number or all this in ordered pair, we have it all negative. So, if it will say that all negative, so it is located at the quadrant 3 of our quotation plane. For quadrant 3 contains all neg negative sides. Both the x-axis and y-axis are negative. So, let's gonna put it here. So, let's count. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. For our first is the x-axis with each our abscissa. Then, for the ordinate, 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So, gonna put it here. So, this is our third example. Then, for the fourth example, we have <laughs> So, our fourth example, the ordered pair we have is positive 7 and negative 5, which is 7 is our abscissa and negative 5 is our ordinate. So, let's gonna locate it in quadrant 4. For our abscissa, our y-axis 
axis here in quadrant 4 is positive and the ordinate or y axis is negative. So, let's gonna uh, locate or find which we're gonna put it in here. So, let's go. Positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7. Then, we're gonna find the negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The negative 5. So, let's put it in here, our example. So, this is our fourth example. The positive 7 and negative 5, which is located at quadrant 4. So, our last example is Positive 7 and positive 1. So, it's all positive. So, it's all located at quadrant 1, which is all positive. So, let's count for our x-axis or the opposite side 7. So, it's located here, right here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then, our earth is here. 1, the y-axis are here. In the I indicated green, so it's very fine. It's easy. So, here is our last example located. So, this is all our example for the obsessa and ordinate coordination here in our Cartesian plate. So, that's all. Thank you. So, I am Jinkai Chomek, a business model student.